Hello, and this is Alistair for this vlog. Yes, and welcome to What Pissed Me Off, Episode 2. Yes, this is a semi-regular series which only occurs when I see something that really annoys me. And today it's MTV. But see, you get a reprieve for a short while. But yes, today it's MPV MTV, and as you can see by the green screen, it's got a few more lights on it, so it should be a bit better. But yes... And also, hopefully, it works. So, this will be some video game footage behind me. I should be in the corner and stuff. And yeah, hopefully, this all works. So, but today we're looking at an MTV article of 50 signs they are not the one for you. I discovered this on Snapchat and I went to the website and printed off the entire web page because I'm like that. But yes, it starts off with Are you concerned the person you're dating might not be the one after you after all? Then, then to be quite honest, consulting the list of dating deal breakers you found on the internet isn't necessarily the answer you're looking for. So it's already gone, hey, this article's kind of pointless in the first go. Which sort of isn't a very good thing. It sort of shows the quality we're dealing with here. Anyway, so these are the examples of, of the absolute worst personality traits. Jesus Christ. Traits, so if any of these do remind you of your significant other, it might be time to think twice about where their relationship is heading. Christ already, Jesus. Right, behold, 50 Signs are not the one to celebrate a brand new series of Are You The One? So this is a series of articles now. Oh, for Christ's sake. One, they don't own a dog. This first point was like, okay, I'm making a video about this instantly. The first thing. Now, personally, I've got nothing against dogs. They're quite nice creatures, but some people can, A, be allergic to them. So if someone's got an allergy, which is something they can't control, and they don't know it all because they're allergic to them, you say, oh, you can go fuck it off. It's like saying, oh, oh, you have a debilitating disease. Yeah, you're fucked, mate. You can go fuck it off. Jesus Christ. Fucking millennials. Saying this. Two, they eat with their mouth open. Okay, I can agree with that because that's pretty gross. I've always been told to believe eat with your mouth closed. I agree with the second point. <clears throat> Three, they don't get, they don't get, it's in, it, for some reason it's in quotation marks, Harry Styles. So first off, the word get is in quotation marks, no idea why. And Harry Styles, I know he's a band member of One Direction, like a member of One Direction, but that's all I know about Harry Styles. I know he dated his way Swift at one point, but that's really all I know about Harry Styles. Like, I have listened to One Direction's music and it's, it's just not for me. It's just not for me. Like, and by what do you mean by get? Exactly. Do you mean like understand what he's about and stuff? So, if that's the case, then yeah, they may not get him because you know they tried to, but they just don't like him or something. No, no. Thought they walk so damn slow. What? It. When it comes to movement, it's better to be comfortable, otherwise it can do serious damage to your body. Yeah, you're better doing comfortably, otherwise you can have serious help on the down the line. Five, they leave the keyboard sound so every they leave the keyboard sound on so every time the the right detector makes that really annoying tinging sound. I leave it on for the reason is I want some feedback to know I've hit a key. Some people need that little bit of feedback from your touchscreen device to go, oh, I've hit that key and it has responded by, you know, acknowledging that I've hit the key. And yes, thank God for that. So they know that they've, you know, hit the key. Jesus. Uh, they happily listen to Spotify ads. I listen to Spotify. I hear the ads because I don't have premium. I'm not happy about it, so... If you are, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with liking adverts. Because it's a personal opinion. They think brunch is a waste of money. Now, for my understanding, brunch is breakfast and lunch together. I've only had brunch a couple of times, and that's because I've sort of woken up late. It's all gone, oh, I need to eat some breakfast or something. And then it's all halfway between lunch and breakfast. And like, okay, it's just basically that's it. So, yeah. I've only had a bunch of problems and if you like it or don't like it, 
is fine. But if you have brunch, if you have breakfast, brunch and lunch, yeah, that's a waste of money. Because brunch, if you go, oh, I'm hungry at brunch, you just get a couple of biscuits or something out of a tin. You know? They wear flip-flops to hang out with you and your friends. If it's on the fucking beach, then yes, it's acceptable. As long as you don't wear socks, because... Lang Wake says flip-flips, not flip-flops. I've heard that's flip-flops. Hang on, have flip-flops been rebranded or flip-flips a different thing? Jesus. Well, if, if flip-flips have... Uh, if flip-flops have been rebranded as flip-flips, editing me will put in a word here. Have they been rebranded? Well, if they have, I presume so, then my point still stands as long as it's on the beach or somewhere, it's fine. And if they find it comfortable, then it's fine, as long as they don't wear socks on it, because socks with flip-flops less flip-flips are fucking arable. They read your message, but don't always reply immediately. Okay. Now, you can tell whoever's writing this is a millennial, because they seem to think they're the centre of the fucking world. Just because someone doesn't reply immediately to you, doesn't mean you're not that their attention. It just means they may be busy doing other things, or maybe, just maybe, they have the rationality and logic to notice that you're not the centre of the fucking universe. Jesus. You can see how angry I'm getting, because that point I hate. My friend, I've got a friend, who makes a point about not replying immediately to everybody's texts. Because he knows it's annoying. And because we don't want, nobody wants to be dragged out, whatever they're doing, just to say, oh yeah, that's a nice t-shirt or something. Yeah, so fuck off with your replying immediately, just piss off. It's clear whoever this person is, is just is really arsehole. Eleven. They know you... In, <coughs> they know you... They know you know they've read it and still don't reply immediately. Again, refer to the previous point. Twelve. They use it lol non-ironically. Wait, so lol's now out of fashion, is it? I, look, I know things like Ruffle, Lol and stuff have fallen out of fashion and, you know, it's more emojis now. But really, you, you're going to blame people for that. It's still, it's just a written version of an emoji, essentially. You're going to tell people for writing words now. Fuck off, for a start. Okay, if they want to use the written word version like normal humans do, then they can use a written word version. I bet this person uses text speech in their normal day-to-day -day lives. Because people who do that are fucking morons. You should use proper words in day-to-day -day speech. In text speech, you don't mean use in text form. And I don't mean like on like work or stuff. I mean in actual just talking to your friends via text communication service, i.e. on your mobile phone or Facebook or something else. It should not be used on proper work or in spoken language. Because it just makes you look like an idiot. Jesus Christ. They sniff loud and in a snotty manner. Maybe, just maybe, they have a cold. Yeah. And maybe they can't do anything about it. Because maybe they don't have tissues around them. Or maybe, just maybe, they've, they've not got collect, they, can't, they feel they've not got collected enough stuff to use a tissue yet. So, yeah, maybe they've got a fucking cold or another illness that produces a vast amount of mucus. Just maybe. So you're telling off people for being fucking ill. You are a horrible person, whoever wrote this. I know it's probably at the top of the page, but I'll, I'll research you later. They keep ketchup in the fridge. I really got nothing to comment on this, because first of all, I don't even know where you're meant to keep sauces anymore. Because half the time it's meant to be in the fridge and the other time it's meant to be in the cupboard. So I don't know. I maybe they like ketchup cold. I don't know. I know some sauces are meant to be kept in the fridge like mayonnaise. But maybe they like cold ketchup. I don't know. I just don't know. 
two, fifteen. They like to tell you how tired they are, even though you get up 45 minutes before them every single day. First off, everybody's built fucking different. Some people require more sleep, some people require less sleep. And secondly, maybe they've got some sort of like chronic fatigue syndrome, which will be pretty much the entire, the entire time. So you're telling people off who possibly have maybe some sort of illness or disease or something which makes them tired. This person is a horrible and terrible person who wrote this. 16. They mock you for caring what Kim Kardashian uses, uses to make her hair so shiny. Now, if you want to know what Kim Kardashian uses, I don't care. Because I don't care about Kim Kardashian. Because she's a selfish, self-absorbed bitch who cares nothing about us, anything about herself and how much money she's fucking got. And you know that French provision and robbery thing that she had? If that turns out to be like some sort of publicity stunt, I would not be fucking surprised. No, seriously, I would not be surprised. If it is a real thing, you know, I'm, you know, it's a terrible thing, but if it is a publicity stunt, which I've not done any research on it, but I hope to God it is isn't, even though they don't believe in God, I actually said that because that would be an awful thing if it was a publicity stunt. And I know it's really old news now, but yeah, I'm still, I'm still on that. At 17, they think it's acceptable to play videos and music out loud on their phone on public transport. Okay, I agree with this point as well because those people need uh, to be banned from all forms of motorised transport and have to walk everywhere for the rest of their lives. Because that is so annoying. I was sitting on the bus the other day, next to someone, I could just go, hear the friends go, blah, 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 Like that. And it was annoying as fuck. So yeah. I agree with point 17. 18. The keyboard on the laptop is just really scrummy looking. Yeah, probably just needs a quick clean. You can probably just get a couple of disinfectant wipes while it's turned off and just clean up a bit. Not much hard. 19. They don't have Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hey You subscriptions and they don't want them either. So? Some people like me prefer physical media. Yes, I have access to an Amazon Prime subscription, but not a Netflix or Hey You, whatever that is. I presume it's another video on demand service. But yeah. I do, I would like a Netflix Hey You stuff, whatever Hey You the fuck Hey You is, I've never heard of it. But, some people prefer physical media, I prefer physical media, and some people may prefer to pay the, you know, people who make this stuff directly, instead of, the, so they get more money, and so they're more likely to produce more stuff, instead of you producing a regular amount of money for them. Which then they don't take risks in filmmaking and stuff, and then we get the same boring shite every single day. Yeah, you're ruining the fucking film industry, dickheads. But at least, but at least having subscriptions to Netflix and stuff is probably better than uh, pirating it. So I could be that. Twelve, twenty. They think Dapper laughs is funny. What the heck is Dapper laughs? I presume it's one that's like damn Daniel things, which by the way I absolutely hate that damn Daniel thing. So. I presume it's like that. So yeah, I may agree with you. Twenty-one. They don't. Fi they don't think dressing pets is clothes is fun. Dressing pets in clothes is funny. I think it's cruel. No, I literally think it's cruel, because all the animals I've seen on those videos of dressing pets just look sad by it because they look like they look really sad that their owners dress them up in Christmas hats and stuff, and it's like. Yes, it looks cute, but the animal looks sad because of it. And I'm not one of those people who put animals above humans in terms of rights. I mean, I agree with animal rights, but, you know, I still think they're below humans in terms of human rights and stuff. Well, people rights. Living being rights. I'm, I still think they're below humans, because until they do algebra, then yeah. But still... They do look kind of sad, and I think people should stop dressing them up. Even though it looks cute and adorable as hell, the animal looks really sad. 22. They interrupt you when telling... <clears throat> they interrupt 
when you're telling them a really good story about how you got free coffee at lunch today. I don't care if you got free fucking coffee. Alright? I really don't care. Because it's just a cup of free coffee. Mainly because I don't like coffee, so... I will not be interested in stories about coffee. You know? If there's a story about coffee, I'll, when it comes to coffee, I'm more interested in how it's made and stuff. So that's what interests me. Like, and if you're interested in uh, talking about cups of coffee and stuff, ball power to you. But if someone's not interested in something, they're not really going to want to listen to it. Though it is polite to let the person talk about it, so maybe that is kind of a good point. They write ha at the end of every single text for no apparent reason. Okay, it's a bit odd that baby. Maybe it's like their initials or something like Hugo Aristocrat or something. So maybe they're writing their initials. If that is what their initials are, if the initials contain the words are H, letters H and A. But if it doesn't, maybe that's a good point. 24. Well, anyway, 24, Jesus Christ. They post videos of cars and nothing else on Facebook. Maybe they like fucking cars. Oh wait, let me guess. It's because they're not posting images of you. That'll be why that's points on here. She... Again, you're not the fucking centre of attention. Jesus Christ, it's these people who've been brought up to go, You're amazing, you're fantastic, you're great. And the moment they come into the real world and realise that no one thinks that, then yeah. They sort of crumble and go into Mardi Party pants. Jesus Christ, fucking millennials. I feel sorry for Generation Z, which is the generation after millennials, and because I was born in the time frame to be classified as a millennial, I'm a fucking millennial technically. I feel sorry for Generation Z, because they've got to deal with all the shit this generation pumps out. 25. They slam the door every time they leave, and despite the fact you've asked them, not to approximately that number, I can't be bothered to read out, times. It's a very large number, but I can't be bothered to read it out. Yeah, I agree with you, don't slam the door. It can cause damage to the object. 26. They don't get why why you'd travel an hour through earth, wind and hellfire to see your eyebrow lady once a month. Okay, first off, maybe it's a good person, and maybe you like him because of that, but... An hour? To sort out your eyebrows? This person... Let me find out. Uh, oh, yeah, beginning of verse two. Linz Foley. Yeah. You superficial bitch. They always try to FaceTime you when you're hungover as fuck. Okay. It's just bad timing. Okay. It's just bad timing. And if they're your romantic partner, you know, as we can't say gender specific worlds anymore because of reasons, which I'm not against, all power to you, but First of all, it's just bad timing, and two, if it is your romantic partner, you shouldn't be scared of showing them your bad side, like when you look terrible, uh, because it proves that if they don't mind that, then it's true love and stuff. So, you know, you shouldn't be scared of showing them your bad side, your dark, bad days, you know. You shouldn't be scared of that, because if you do love them, and, they, and you know they do love you, they shouldn't mind about that. Okay. 28... We've not even got into the 30s yet. I've got, I mean, it's 50 in total. Jeez. They just never have toilet paper at their house. Maybe they use it all, or maybe they haven't had a chance to go out to the shops yet because they've got, because they've had to maintain the shrine that you request for them to build for you. Just maybe they haven't had the chance to get it yet. Jesus. 29. One of their life dreams is to go to everything to find themselves. Okay, yes, and this sounds like the pretentious prickhead. Yeah. Though, coming from you, you're not exactly the, uh, you know, 
template that everybody should be racing themselves off either. 30. They think it's funny to steal to steal an orange traffic cone and lift it every time you go for a night out. Okay, I know people who have done this. And yes, it's funny the first time while you're drunk, but first off, you're drunk. And if they so when they sober up and they still find it funny, alright. <laughs> this stuff is funny, but yeah, it is a crime, but if they find it funny while drunk but not while sober, that's fine, because while you're drunk you're a bit sort of everything all your social restraints are thrown out the window. So yeah. If you find it funny while drunk, but not while sober, that's fine, but it's always slightly funny. Maybe because I'm a man, male, and yeah, I may find it funny because of that, but I find it slightly funny. Yeah. There, were, there was a photo of them in existence of them wearing Crocs. Don't care if they were nine, it's still a crime against all things good in this world. Okay, I agree with you, Crocs aren't the most visually appealing, appealing footwear, but they're damn near comfy. And because they slip on, you can just slip them on and quickly go outside to take out the rubbish or something. I've got nothing against Crocs. I agree with you, maybe they're not the most visually appealing things in the world. But if they like them, don't fucking slate them over it. If they like certain clothing items which may not be considered fashionable, don't fucking tell them off for it because it's their personal fucking, you know, opinion. I bet you this person, if you if you would make a blanket statement of things like a book is not very good, they'll tell you off for making a blanket statement, yet they're making a blanket, 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 blanket statement here. Fucking millennials. These guys just need to go fuck off and go have some, think, go, <coughs> oh wait, oh wait, no one in the world cares. Jesus Christ. They double dip. What in the world, God's name is double dipping. Is that like that sweet? You know, the lollipop which you dip in sherbet. I presume it is, to I don't think it's talking about that, but by double dipping do you mean like double dipping stuff? Is it a sexual thing? I don't know. So, whatever it is, I think I've got a thing I don't want to know either. We take 20 napkins in pre one, use one and shove the rest into the bag where, where they'll stay soaking up big and incomes for the next hundred years. Maybe they just don't want to get their bag dirty. And that becomes really inexpensive. And I think I've been to pre once. Because it's that one with sort of the red star on it, I think. I think I've been to pre once. Can't remember well it much. They don't order dessert and then eat some of yours. Maybe. They can't afford to order the dessert. And yes, if they uh, eat some of yours without, your, without asking, you know, that's a bit rude, but yeah. Maybe they can't afford to eat at dessert or something. If, so yeah. I want all they want just to keep the cost of the meal down. You're a fucking bitch. They pile stuff on top of their recycling bag until it collapses like a giant rubbish jungle instead of just taking out when it's full. I do this, and I agree it's not a good thing to do, but I still do it for some reason because I'm too lazy to take it, to get the sort it out. They read your book over your shoulder. Okay, that is annoying when someone looks over your shoulder to see what you're doing. It's annoying. Right. They lend your stuff to their friends and never get it back. Again, annoying. They don't... They took you on a date to McDonald's and judged you for getting nuggets and a burger. Well, if you just got nuggets and a burger and no drink, that is a bit stupid. Because you're going to be thirsty. Jesus, these people. And I presume she is talking about nuggets and a burger meal or something. So, again, it is your personal choice if you like that sort of stuff. And anyway, who takes someone on a date to McDonald's? No, legitimately. Who takes someone on a date to McDonald's? I don't know. 39. Yeah, the world's nearly over. They don't get why your best friend is the person in the is the best person in the whole universe. Maybe. 
and just maybe a romantic relationship, your romantic partner, is meant to be the number one spot on all your fucking friends lists. Maybe, just maybe, they go, hey, you do realise I'm meant to be at the top of that list. Now, I know I've said people, things about people being in the universe and stuff, but you do realise that you two are meant to be the best of friends when you're in a romantic relationship. And if you're not, then, yeah, it's doomed to fail. Really. Now, I understand people, you know, just going and hanging out with their friends and just have a bit of a rest from the romantic other side, but really, you putting your friends above them and saying is not sending out a good message saying, I don't respect you enough to put you at the top of my friends list. It's not a good thing to say. 40. They use the words banter despite it's not 2013 anymore. Okay, I agree with you, because banter is an utterly despicable word that should not be used. 41. They think it's acceptable to reheat a fish-based meal in their work microwave at lunchtime. I have a feeling I've reheated fish-based meals in the microwave, but... I have never have any memory of it, so I'm not sure if I do. But, there's nothing wrong with fish-based meals. I know they eat stink because it's fish, but they shouldn't stink, because fish, if it smells, then it's really off. And my neighbour seems to be rubbing up their motorcycle. <sighs> 42. They don't understand that £30 is a perfect place to sum up money to spend on shampoo. It's not. Like, if you're like Bill Gates' children or something, then okay, fair enough, but if you're on the below the poverty line, you're a fucking moron. Because you should not be spending £30 on shampoo because that's a waste of money. And, you know, you should be spending it more on food and electric bills and stuff. Jesus. Oh my God. They tell you to calm down when you disagree. Okay. I know people who do this and it is annoying. I mean, if you're getting pretty angry about something, yeah, okay, maybe, but if you're just having a calm discussion or something, then yeah, it's annoying. 44. They eat Oreos without licking the cream out of the middle first. I'd, I'd just shove it like an normal biscuit. Like, for fuck's sake, maybe they like eating it that way. We're not in a narcissistic fascist state. State where you where your rule ends as first. Maybe they prefer eating it as a whole biscuit, like most people eat normal sandwich biscuits. For fuck's sake, you are a fucking superficial bitch who doesn't. If if they don't get the fucking way, they start bitching and moaning about it. For... They get angry. They get angry when you forget the storyline to Game of Thrones halfway through every episode. Now, uh, I've only seen the first episode of Game of Thrones. And all I remember from that is someone arriving, people dying, and naked people, which made it feel really awkward to watch. Oh, when that kid gets thrown off that tower, because you see people having sex or something. It's really awkward to watch. And yeah. But if you do forget, and I'm not sure, she's not specified if it's the plotline of the episode or the overall series arc. All the stories of the series. She's not specified that. So if it's the ep episode of the episode, then yeah, it's a bit annoying. But if it's the series arc, you use this momentary lapse of memory, then yeah, it's a bit hard. Forty sixty fart on you in bed. You do know you do realise flatulence is an important part of the human body process, because if we didn't do it, then you would quite literally explode due to all the gases, like King William the Conqueror did. At his funeral, he exploded, and then the church burned down. That is not a joke! That actually happened according to some history reports. So, yeah. So, you want people to explode and die. Okay, you fucking murderer. They don't know what Poot Lovato is. Now, I've actually researched this, and it seems to be like the face Demi Lovato pulled once, a summer. Because I, when I was first looking at this thing... I was like, what's Pete Lovato? Googled it and, you know, it's like, oh, it's something to do with Demi Lovato. So, yeah. 48. We're nearly there, kids. They think it's, accept they think it's acceptable to slush you. Whatever slushing is, I presume it's something to do with the slushy drinks. 
where they like put it on your head or something. I don't know. I don't know why it's so can't judge it. Forty nine. They do that annoying leg shaking and fidgeting thing. Nothing wrong with that. I don't see anything wrong with that. I do it myself, and I feel I have to do it due to my autism and stuff. I feel I have to do it. Otherwise, I feel locked up and like I'm really stiff and all sorts. Fifty. They're just a big bag of dicks. This is really fucking rich coming from this person. It's really fucking rich. You know, this person is a lot of bitch, and her saying that is just great to you. This person should be no, no, not allowed anywhere near a fucking keyboard of any type on the screen of physical. That's alone, it allows to be used something for the MTV website. Conclusion. So if, if your so conforms two more and two above, it might be time to kick them out to, to the curb. Okay, she's literally thinking about making them homeless now. Fuck this bitch. Then again, don't blame us if these high and arguably unreasonable standards mean you're alone forever. Yeah. Huh. She's judging her own points. Maybe this was a joke, I think, after all. If it wasn't, it's still fucking atrocious. Soz, not soz. Hang on, is this thing a joke or not? And it just goes into advertising more of their own shit. MTV, first off, you used to be great. You used to be on the cutting edge of edgy stuff. But... Seriously, MTV. If this turns, if this thing is a joke, then I'm fine with it. But if it's not, this superficial, narcissistic bitch can go fuck herself. Lynn's Foley. See so right there. You can go fuck off. Anyway, this has been Alistair for this vlogger. Remember to subscribe, comment and like because I order you to and I'm not one of those like 12 of you all to do Minecraft, you know? Oh, give me for me and me for me. You know. So yeah, I order you to because I'm pretty much joking with the whole concept of subscribing, commenting and like and doing that stuff. Yeah, anyway, this has been Alistair for this vlogger. Remember, don't remember, I order you to do so. To do the magic with the clicky buttons. And yeah, goodbye.